die. Why is our guest a dude? I'm not your guest. Then, where is she? Hold your horses, you little bastard. I'll get your slut in a second. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Your slut. You mean waifu? Is that what you whippersnappers call a dick-sucking demon these days? Nah, dog. We still call them sluts. Then my point still stands. I ain't putting my dick in that! Nonsense, you see those hips? Those are 100% child-bearing hips, my squeamish friend. She's also your biggest fan. In the immortal words of Emo, my answer is no, with a side of fuck you! Didn't you screw the lolly button in one episode? <sighs> Look, when I was younger, I felt the same way about Pokemon. But the moment I saw a Zelazzle shaking her tight little ass in front of me, it was all over for me. But thing is, they're not just pets. They can be your mentor, your friend, and even your life partner. They will always be there for you, whether it's during the good times or bad. Just give her a shot. I ain't into doing Pokemon, bro. No, no, bunny. No, 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 bunny. No, bunny. She said, I'll tell you what. I like you, and I want you. We can do this the easy way. Or we can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. Bruh. <laughs> Wait, this is not that bad. Oh shit, this is pretty good. I love Pokemon! Another satisfied customer, Professor Harkness, away! Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with our show? Oh boy, I'm gonna need some bleach for that one. If you liked this episode of Calcari and Warfare Connie Sewer, then check out the previous episode in which we had Samus on the show. It took us weeks to clean up the set after that episode. Weeks. 